somewhat interestingly, the uh, the website for this DLC expansion actually listed as like one massive seamless dungeon. Oh hey, boss fight. Okay. So I'm wondering if it's all gonna just be one continuous fight against a bunch of uh, enemies. Probably not. Uh, probably not the big quest hub that the previous DLC was. All right. Do we even fight the Revenant at first? It might be a good, good idea just to hang out at first and let the uh, the other guys come to me. Let's just spread the party out a little bit. Let the melee characters approach us. Come and get us. Who's gonna make a big mess? Yes, you are. All right, cool. Let's throw a few explosions in there for funsies. Ruin these additional enemies as fast as possible, just to get them wiped out. Give us less to deal with as we fight the final boss. Oh, Lieutenant Ren. Oh, right. Those, those are our assistants. The Revenant is already being a, a, engaged by Vasti. Let's actually manually tell him to attack a specific character then. I don't want him wandering off yet. I'd rather deal with the extras first. There we go. Yeah, they go down so quickly, just it makes sense to take them out first. Rather than let there be too many extra things just causing a mess, potentially attacking my uh Okay, it looks like he's gonna summon more throughout the fight. Okay then, never mind. Everyone fight the revenant. Screw it. Alright. Uh Dorian, you're in range. Uh we'll let them approach first. There we go, he's attacking you. Try to let's see if he can confusion bomb this guy. Oh hey, it worked. Sweet. So we can make them change teams and fight each other. That'll be plenty handy. Go ahead and throw a, bu a bubble in there to help people stay safe. A few fire spells. Where is uh, Vivian in all this? Is she in the fray? Those are our three melee characters. Is Vivian back here still? Yes, she is. All right. Well, she can feel free to uh, to engage directly if she wants to. Or maybe it's not necessary to send the Night Enchanter in. A few, a few handy little bubbles will pretty much take care of whatever. What if I throw in a confusion grenade in here? That could probably lead to all sorts of allegiance changes. Oh, the Revenant changed teams. <laughs> For some reason, I expected that the boss would uh, somehow not be vulnerable to changing teams, but that's exactly what happened. He's got 18,000 hit points. All right. Well, this is one way to clear out some, some uh, skulls, I guess. Let's all attack this guy, just to regroup a bit, because kind of, my, my party's getting uh, spread out a little bit, which could be a problem when the Revenant switches back. Whoopsie. May have accidentally did a little bit of a time wasty. Sarah, go ahead and get a, a potion in there. Looking a little gaunt. Blowing things up while we wait for the guy to turn back. Is he still, he's still on our team? So he is vulnerable to fire. What a coincidence! That's like the one spell I use. <laughs> Bubble up. All right, now we can focus on this guy again, since he's vulnerable again. And God, I'm a failure. All right. Yeah, for some re for some for some reason, I just assumed he was not going to get affected by the team change, and I I realized that was not really based on much. But oh well. I don't think I actually caused any harm besides maybe some seconds lost. I was keeping an eye on Vasti. I was getting ready to do Walking Fortress, but he's really not under attack at all. Is... Where's Dorian? Where is Dorian? Is he in the fight again? Because he does that a lot. Dorian. Oh yeah, Dorian, get out of there. Dummy. Here. Hold position back here. You're not a... You're not even slightly a melee character. You just kind of wander off into the wrong parts of the battlefield on a regular basis. Is he even going? Where is he? Part where you have to find enemies is if he oh he's dead isn't he? I think he's already dead. Yep, he's dead already. All right, sweet. Well, that's fine. Vivian can fix that once she gets enough mana. Right now, Dorian, manual control. Get into a less stupid place real quick. I always lose track of Dorian. He just wanders into the fight on a regular basis. Sarah doesn't have that problem. Why can't you be more like Sarah, Dorian? Then everyone would like you let more, and you'd be more popular at school. There we go. Who's making a big old mess? 
See how see how useful you are when you hang out in the back and you don't go stupidly charging into the most dangerous part of the area. Um, excuse me. Oops, didn't mean to do that. For some reason, I thought Terrify was going to give me an, uh, a bubble to target with. That hurts. Stop it. Oh, I'm dead again, aren't I? Whoops. I meant to terrify the corpse attacking me. That was just a waste. Oh well. Terrify him now! Suck it! <laughs> Things happen. We'll, we'll be fine. The important thing is that the whole party is otherwise safe. Vivian will be able to revive him soon enough anyway. Just need to get the mana real quick. There we go. Get dumb Dorian back up. Oh! Please revive dumb Dorian. Okay, fine. I'll manually control you if you're going to ignore me. Silly game. There we go. Dorian, you should probably bubble yourself. And deal with this guy. Since he's out getting all up in Sarah's business. We don't want any of that. Alright, Sarah and Dorian just both deal with this guy. Deal with the fact that he's being annoying to us. Just pick him away a bit. There we go. Nice little distance. Long shot, which hit the ground apparently. There we go, that's better. Back to the Revenant, who's somewhere in there. Where is he? There he is. Bouncing shot, hopefully. Oh, I'm under attack from behind. Not a fan. So come on, let's just deal some real damage here. I'll hang out by this fire mine. This, that should go off if I get swarmed again. There we go. Let's spam some long shots, because I just did my fire. Apparently that didn't work that way. All right, fine. He's still pretty screwed. And we'll just do a slow-mo, slow-mo finisher. Oh, he's already down anyway. Well, I tried to do something different. It happens. Alright, that's pretty much taken care of. It's just kind of fun to play as Sarah, even if... <laughs> I sit there and hold the trigger like a dumbass after the fight's over and shoot at nothing. Because I'm a pro. Unadulterated pro. You don't even know. Alright. A few resources to be found. I am slightly missing how fast you can pick up items in The Witcher, because you just mash the X button and you just like instantly get it, as opposed to do a whole crouching animation. There re really is a thing in any longer game, is the, uh, the, lo the more animations you add to the game, the more frustrating they'll start to grow over time, just when you see them for the hundredth time in a row. So do I loot these, or is there a puzzle to be had? Oh, there's a document. Warden Alsa's diary. I've never had a diary before. The wardens kept me too busy. But now I'm dying. And there's no one to talk to. I'm alone with the music in my head growing louder. I always wondered how wardens knew when they heard the calling. I asked Lamb once after too many drinks. You'll know, he said. And I did. At first it was just a whisper. A creak in the door hinge I could pull off, put off oiling, but soon, all I could hear was the music. It was there when I swung my staff and wiped the sweat from my brow. It lingered in Liam's dot laughter and stalked my dreams. I can't explain the sound, the song, but I knew. It's a poison that grows in the mind, then consumes the body. I came here to die. In death sacrifice. But I won't go quietly. I cut through the dark spawn horde, expecting to find only more of them the deeper I traveled, but nothing has matched my expectations. The deep roads brought to mine dark spawn, dwarven ruins, caverns, and death. But there's an entire underground world here. Just today I came across plants with lyrium streaked veins. I took a bath in a lake that held crisp, fresh water and cautious animals, large and small that I'd never seen before. I can't be the first warden to witness such wonders. I was distracted by the curiosities yesterday. Was it yesterday? I let my guard down, got comfortable. Easy to do when you know death is inevitable, but then I stumbled across something horrible. I smelled it before I saw it. Bodies. Herlocks, genlocks, creatures I didn't even recognize, hundreds of them, mutilated, tortured, and thrown into pits. I ran. Didn't see the hole. Can't move my legs. They look like they should hurt, but I can't feel. 
The music is too loud. The hunger too strong. I can still crawl. I don't want to die like this. No. There's some kind of detailed sketch of a pillar with like a fist statue of some or, or, or something or a throne or a, a forge, an oven. I think kind of looks like a fist. Those are, those are, those look like fingers. At a broken bridge on top of a pillar, like somewhere below there, there's something behind the pillar. This gray warden had a map. Could be important. Could be. Any other documents around here? Is that a dead end? Might be it. Alright. I was hoping for something to signify what's going on with these uh, urns, but they might just be loot and nothing else. I just kind of assumed they might have some kind of uh, significance. I can't go through the wall here, can I? No. Alright. Let's just go ahead and loot the urns. I, I assume they're just my reward for wiping that stuff out. Oh, right, my inventory's full. The things you forget when you ha when you uh, skip between days. I'll deal with that real quick. There we go. Cleared out some cleared out some of the stuff I just didn't need. Preferably before starting the DLC, would have taken care of that, but it's not a big deal. I'm not super attached to items in general, just because uh, at this point, the whole party is pretty well equipped. I don't think I need to worry about it so much. But I'll grab the gold, and I'll grab any, like, special belts and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I doubt that I need- I, I kind of doubt I need a new Vitar, considering my character's situation. Alright. So the important thing is we found the document, which will probably lead to hidden treasure, which probably is the true reward of that little side quest. But before we do that, we have to move forward. I assume it's a hidden treasure we'll be finding in a future room. Although I don't think this is a really a, a game where you get locked out of the content. Hey guys! Who's your little... Oh man, those are some big shields. Gunlock alphas, huh? Shields are actually bigger than you. Alright, congratulations. Gonna make a big ol' mess of your face. All over the face. That's right. Oh, that sounds like a time for a payback strike. Why didn't I do a... Oh, I didn't do a payback strike? The whole point of payback strikes is to get out of being knocked down like that. Oh well. Little walking fortress will let me generate some early game guard to deal with any damage coming my way. And I'll do my obligatory fire spam. But they've got it handled. These guys definitely don't offer the uh, the kind of threat that we faced in the uh, last DLC with the Hakonites and their goddamn glowy ass weapons and ability to do comical amounts of damage. Primarily, really just primarily with their uh, their nasty spinning two-handed club what characters. The fire spam is real. 60,000 hit points. It's impressive, a bit. It's not gonna help them. It'll do, it'll do something, at least. They really made Disruption Field hard to see, didn't they? You can kinda see the bubble a little bit when I do the slow-mo bubble that makes it so that they move less. But if I didn't call it out, I wouldn't be surprised if people just wouldn't notice that I even had it active at all. It's a, it's a pretty faint bubble. I assume it affects these guys. They look... They look he looks pretty disrupted right now. <laughs> they look uh, like they're small enough to fit in the bubble and count. Cause that's like the one limitation on that device is that if you're too, on that uh, spell, if you is that if you're too if you're too small of, of too large of a character, you don't get affected by the slow mo, which pr I assume is primarily just a uh, effect they throw in a stipulation just so that you don't start using slow motion on dragons. It's it's a it's a it's good to just lock people out of uh, getting too spammy with slow-mo effects. That was a problem that uh, Lords of the Fallen had. That, that game that tried very desperately to be Dark Souls. Uh, in my New Game Plus playthrough, uh, I just... I used slow I used slow effects in the final boss, and he just basically stopped moving. Like, he basically just froze solid, and I killed him in a few seconds. And I was like, well, that was... That was a final boss. Congratulations, I guess. You tried. <laughs> oh. Quick bubble. People are taking damage. Tell Vasti to Walking Fortress, so he generates a proper amount of guard. Otherwise, we'll just keep wailing on dudes. Something about their knockdown seems to break Payback Strike. 
My understanding understanding of that attack was the whole point is that it can it can help get you out of the fact that you've been knocked over or something, and allows you to just just uh, wail on someone. You killed Darkspawn like you've been doing it your whole life, Inquisitor. He means that as a compliment. You're famous, even down here. Is it true you killed a dragon? I have. It was quite the battle. I can't even imagine. Tell me about their teeth. I've heard they don't all breathe fire, and their scales have different colors and patterns. Careful, Ren. I believe you're drooling. I think I've killed... 13 now? Dragons? Careful, Sarah. I'm relying on you to not fall to your doom. Sweet. Ooh. This looks familiar. Nope, no fist. No fist statue. I don't think this is going to lead me to the treasure. In fact, the area down there does not look like an area that I'll be traversing on foot. Uh, that was a little close. Alright. Away we go. You guys have taken some damage. Oh, uh, we're, we're below a threshold on my potions, aren't we? Uh, I'll blow a, a, a regeneration over time potion here. Why not? I can be efficient and gather everyone together to do this. Alright. Can I tell everyone to stand around me so they don't stay out of the area at all? That's the thing to do. Come on everyone, into my bubble of love. It's my love bubble. Of love. Oh yeah. Come on. Just a moment longer. Hey, it works! It's efficiency right there. You just have to use the ingredients for one potion, and you heal the entire party. Without using your limited stockpile, since we haven't found any, uh, resupply points yet. Alright, that worked just fine. Go ahead and, uh... uh I meant clear commands, there we go. Just in case you chose this, we're gonna just stand there while I left. Wouldn't put- wouldn't put a, would not put it past the AI in this game, they're sometimes a little too literal. Oh yeah. It wouldn't be a Dragon Age game if an underground cavern area wasn't full of spiders. Alright, this, this is the time to throw some nasty area of effect spells in there. If there's ever been a time. Yay, random numbers and chaos! I'm just gonna pretend I understand what's going on on the screen. When it's really just... Just numbers everywhere. I'm sure I'm winning, it's fine, don't worry. It's cool. So many goddamn spiders. This is a little bit of chaos. No one's taking damage, though, so I'm not too concerned. More fire. There we go. Quickly thinning the herd. Long shot with Sarah when given the chance. Which should give, might give us a bouncing strike. Oh, we're pretty much out of enemies to shoot now. Oh, Sarah, how'd you get down here? Oh, well. Fun time. Wee! Slow-mo finisher back, backflip. It's okay, guys. I got this. So it's always a cool moment when you accidentally switch to Sarah when she's already in slow mo mode, because then uh, you just you su you uh, you just suddenly see a weird transition of speed flip out all of a sudden. That's kind of one of the joys of editing the videos. Sometimes is I see moments I didn't notice the first time around where Sarah triggers the slow mo, the lightning flask on her own, and just goes into crazy speed mode. Just in the corner of the screen, she's just fidgeting and twitching like a lunatic. Figure I'll go for whatever's up here first. If I can deal enough damage before we deal with whoever's downstairs. Sarah? Hey girl, how you- what you doing? Let's try to stun one of these. Oh, there's one all the way back there too. I can't really reach that one from here. Go for the full draw, come on. There we go. Now everyone hit this guy. The first fire spell someone uses is probably gonna knock- wake that guy back up, but I tried. Oh cool. It actually bounced over and hit this guy, didn't it? Yeah, he took he took his chip damage. Yep, they're woken up. Oh well, it's fine. Just a handful of herlocks, so we're we're pretty safe. Oh, here, <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> oh, the AI, the AI. Is this guy almost dead? No, not quite. We have a bunch of genlocks coming from downstairs. All right. Yep, all hell's broken loose. Uh, this could go poorly quickly. 
Yeah, let's tell uh, Dorian and Sarah to back off. So they just have to that one character to deal with. Because they're about to get swarmed. Otherwise, I can tell them both to fight this guy for a bit. And it won't be that big of a deal. There we go. Oh, crap. Alright, that's not good. Uh, Dorian. How about you put a fire mine under yourself? And Sarah, you're probably going to want to enter stealth for a moment. So you're getting swarmed for the moment. Good fate step, Dorian. Do I even have that equipped on you? I thought... Oh, I'm not highlighting you. Do you... Yeah, you have fate step equipped. Alright, good to know. I actually forgot that I went and took the moment to learn that last time around. How you guys doing over here? Vasti's holding it just fine. Let's tell Vasti to, t to fight the ogre since it's going to be on him anyway. Alright, yeah, our efforts are going to be spread pretty thin here. Things are turning into a mess pretty quickly. Just the sheer number of guys coming in from behind. Might have been better to just attack the ogre outright instead. Ooh, nice spread shot. I don't like the way that Sarah's currently in the middle of this huge group, though. So let's try to back off a bit. In the other direction. Dorian's pretty well and dead. It happens. Wow, that, that, yep, that shot definitely bounced. Dorian will get revived soon by Vivian. There we go, so it's fine. Excuse me, sir. Just gonna have to take a break from you. Oh no, there's bad guys down here too, huh? That was probably a mistake. Okay. Going to slow-mo. Just to make up the time that I'm spending away from the fight. That was that was my bad. Huh? Still. It dealt with the immediate problem of being covered with bad guys. So that'll that'll get its job done. And Dorian's just dying over and over again, but that's fine. That's more or less his job. <laughs> It's hard to establish a, uh, a front line for this fight until we take out the additional mobs for a while. As long as Vasti persists, we'll be, we'll be fine overall. Take out the Genlocks. There we go. Who's going down? You're going down. Let's put some damage on the Ogre for a little while. There we go. Poison's applied, so this, the attacks are fairly effective. Oh, another gun lock, because of course there is. Let's see, who all is left around here? There's this guy. Hey, buddy. Just gonna have to deal with you real quick. Just making a right old mess of things, aren't you? There we go, nice bouncing strike. Yep, archers, should, archers are gonna be down in a moment. That'll clean things up significantly as far as incoming damage goes. Having straight archers is kind of messy. There we go. There we go, and the party mostly self-moderates, really. So I, I kind of can just let it happen. I'll just, I just take control of uh, Sarah, because she's the, probably the most immediately entertaining one to play as. Ow, rude. Alright, let's get some distance from you. Bye! Can I just put you to sleep? Oh wait, that won't work because you're uh, on fire. Oh well. Efforts were made. Slow-mo for bonus attacks. Shatter combo, nice. We apply poison. Uh, thousands cuts for fun. We. Oh, you did. You did. All right. Well, that cleaned things up nicely. Sarah's basically the best, isn't she? All right. Now it's just about picking off this ogre for a while. Dorian, what are you doing? I saw you fade stepping. Uh, nice try. I'm going to want you to go over here, just because there's going to be more gun locks. I can see them on the map. So let's establish a nice position for you not by the fray. There we go. You hold position here. You hold position there. Well, I'm just going to manually control you anyway. Uh, Vivian, go ahead and pop a heal. Since you've been harmed. And uh, back to manual control. Yeah. Just doing a little bit of extra damage very quickly. For a little bit. Long shot. Yeah. It's fun to do. And the more damage we do early on, of course, the less likely we are to get attacked by more Genlocks along the way. Alright. Fire. And just start spamming some long shots. 
We're going. Ogre's still persisting for a while. Doesn't want to go down very quickly. But he doesn't have a lot of choice. We apply our poison. Upgrading the duration of the poison is actually what I did with her skill point that I started this DLC with. Did that between episodes, but... The main point was just... I, I, just, I, I think I've explained before, I'm mostly just picking up passes at this point to increase my stats. Because that gave me three more dexterity. So I can't exactly map more skills to the skill bar, so... Passes are the best I can do, just for stat bonuses. But yeah, that was a chance to make my poison last a little longer, which is... A minor upgrade, but it does something at least. So it's good to keep that applied. Alright, a few attacks coming in. Fire. Long shot. Long shot. Long shot. Alright, full draw for funsies. I think it does more damage. Long shot. He's down. There we go. Oh, Vivian, you poor girl. Taking damage on me. Oh, why did I, ew, why am I picking that kind of stuff up? Ah, I'm under attack still? Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll deal with that later, it's fine. I just realized that I've been reflexively picking things up and I don't need crap like Grey Warden, like, Grey quality shields. It's a bit of a waste of space. Ooh. That, at least that one's an actual ring. Getting knocking sounds in the background? Symptoms of the earthquake or something else? What all can I find around here, besides the giant glowing marker? Alright. What's over here? Nope. You can keep it. <laughs> Alright, how do I investigate corpses? Um... Alrighty then. I'll press forward a little bit. I think it might be kind of us being in combat still, so I can't. Or something. A landmark? There's 22 ruins of Hedrin Tag. Could this be Tag Hedrin? Dark spawn all over it. You can see their torches. Even Dark spawn appreciate a little mood lighting. We're getting close to something. Aye. A fight of our lives. Well, this looks pretty swell. And also, there's my weird fist like statue. I'm gonna say maybe not a fist. But down there. Probably by those lights should be where the where the loot is. It's a very specific sketch. Yeah. Can I? Maybe I have to go fight this guy, who seems completely uninterested in my presence. By the way, <laughs> buddy. Hello. Fight him! Come on, man. We're doing like a whole thing. Pachoom. That's a thing that'll never go away. <laughs> Any video game that has a combat status, combat stat status, and a non-combat status, and require and doesn't let you do certain things while you're in combat, will ir like irrevocably will always have the problem of like, I want to do this thing, but you're in combat because something got confused somewhere, but counts as being in combat. Gotta go track it down so I can go back to playing the game. Just, it's one of those, it's one of those weird video game moments of like, this doesn't make any sense, but I can't go around it, so I guess I just gotta... Just sort of finick with it. Just mess around with it until it lets me do what I want to do. It's fine. I'm used to it, obviously. Hydrun Tig. Hadrun Tig? I already forgot what they said, didn't I? Got a new, uh, expedition to, uh, do at the, uh, map when I get back to it. A letter from... A letter to Merchant Levnog, predating the first blight. Levnog, more of the brand of the brand refused to make the journey to Hydran Tig. Rumors of the incident has spread, and no amount of coin or beatings could persuade them. I asked Miner Vasov to send the Isana shipment with his own, <clears throat> sorry, with his own crew, but have yet to receive a reply. I inquired if anyone else has heard from their Hydran contacts. Nothing. I worry that it has something to do with those creatures that wear the faces of the dead. Apparently the king himself is leading a troop of warriors to check on the situation. Needless to say, the shipments will be late. I just hope it arrives at all. Jordan. 
That's a note dating all the way back to when the first blight originally wiped everything out. When they didn't know the severity of the situation and the fact that they were going to lose all of these places. Can I investigate the corpses now? Why can't I investigate the corpses? It's my entire goal right now. And I just can't... There's no interact. Alright, I'll try to fight the other thing that's on the map over here. Maybe that'll reset it. Otherwise, maybe I'll try saving and reloading and see if that works. Hey, buddy. Who's gonna make a big ol' mess? Long oh. Sarah. Works way better with line of sight. Silly. It's all these games to think, keep track of. I lose track of which ones have a AI that'll path for me and which ones don't and stuff like that. Wipe them out. Come on. Just go to sleep. Oh, I actually put him to sleep. I mean, I guess I knew I was doing that. I just didn't think it through. <laughs> Alright, can I play the game now? Please. There's like nothing else here, and this is my entire objective. Please work. Yay! There's nothing left of them. Can't even tell who they were. I'm sorry, Ren. You join the Legion knowing you're already dead. You don't fear the killing blow. We rest in the stone and pass our strength back to her. That's our reward. But the Darkspawn... ...defiled these soldiers. They can't return to the stone. They'd only weaken her. There must be some way to lay them to rest with honor. We can burn the remains. No. That's all we can do. 